Welcome, everyone. This is an episode of the Huntsville Symphony Orchestra's Music Explorers Club. My name is Miss Cargich, and I'll be your instructor today. In our time at home during the quarantine, there's a lot of fun and interesting crafts that you can do to create your own musical instruments using everyday household items. I was going to demonstrate a few different ways that you can do that today. The first kind is a big drum. This is very easy to do. I had an empty oatmeal box sitting around the house. I decided to take off the label and I painted it red because I just like red drums. And if you wanted to use this as a bass drum, you could play it using your hand, a wooden spoon, a whisk. You can experiment and make up your own sounds. It sounds just like this. There we have our bass drum for the band. Then the next instrument you can make uses a simple jar or even a Tupperware with lid and I've decided to pour some little grains of rice, some quinoa, and some chia seeds to make my shaker. This has a screw on lid, so you can always change out the ingredients, add more or less. You could put in some little green peas if you want to make it really colorful too. So now this sounds like a shaker. Very good. The best part is all of the items in it are edible, so this is kid friendly. Then another shaker that I made was using a homemade paper roll. So I finished up some paper towels and decided to cut this down. You could make a really long rain stick if you want to, or a little tiny baby short one for little folks. Then I used some washable markers. I decided to paint mine purple. No, this is more of a pink and blue. So I've got pink and blue. Then you're going to need some tape and then have an adult cut out some pieces of tape using some scissors. Make sure you get some grown-up help on that. Then I poured some of my lovely rice inside the tube. Then we close it with some tape and I decided to use some yarn to make some tassels on the end because I love being extra. And then you've got yourself a homemade shaker. This is what it sounds like. And again, you could get beans instead of rice, and beans have a, a heavier sound. So you could use beans. Um, another thing that you could pour in there is any small object. You could try to see what oats sound like, little split green peas, or even big old lima beans and see what they sound like. So this could be your own experiment. So in summation, I've made a big drum as a matter of fact, my daughter made little holes with a hole puncher and she had it, uh, uh, some yarn attached around her body and it was like a carrying drum for a marching band. So that was a lot of fun. Again, this is the bass drum. Then we've got our jar shakers, sounds like this. And then we've got our little paper roll shakers with the yarn tassels. lots of fun. Now I want to have you listen to what it sounds like to play with a real song. So you could ask Alexa to play Baby Shark for you, or you could turn on your favorite song off the radio and play along with the recording. Just like this. Baby Shark So that's how you can make your own band at home and create your own musical instruments using everyday household items for arts and crafts. Thank you for joining me today for this episode of Music Explorers Club Long Distance. Have a great day. Hi, my name is Julia Dina. I'm the concert master of Huntsville Symphony Orchestra. Um, and I'm here today to show you 
what a violin is, what it sounds like, how to play it. Hopefully I can help you figure out if this is an instrument that you want to play. Um, me being the concert master of the orchestra, I am the person that you see walking out on the stage before the conductor does. And I take a bow like this. And sometimes I'm worried that I'm going to fall over, but that's okay because I usually don't. Um, and then I turn around and I tell our oboe player to tune the orchestra, which sounds like... Which sounds a little bit like that. And the whole orchestra does that, and then I sit down. Um, I think my favorite part about being concert master is if I stand up or sit down, everyone has to follow me. So if I stand up too early, they have to follow me anyways. And if I sit down too late, they have to follow me anyways. Um, let's get into a little bit of playing the violin. It is higher pitched than the big bass. The bass is a lot taller than me. I'm quite short, but the bass is taller than me. And the violin is quite little. And I don't know if you've noticed, but little things take to, tend to make squeaky sounds. And the violin can sound kind of squeaky. And that's what happens when I play the smaller strings. I wonder if I can get squeakier. Yes, it can get pretty squeaky. But we do have some low notes as well. And that's about as low as we go. But that usually means that we have a lot of room to play with. Let's do an itsy bitsy spider. that one and let's try to do it a little bit higher. That's what the violin sounds like. Really low and really high. And I think we're going to do a little duet for you now of It's a Wonderful World. Have a wonderful day, stay healthy, stay, I don't know, entertained, and try, if you have a violin, make sure to practice, and if you don't, just take stuff around your house and put on some music and try playing along with it.